Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about using the selection in print in, the, in your print driver with an epilogue. And this, you know, there might be more drivers that are the same, but uh, I'm familiar with epilogue. <clears throat> this is a couple of uh, reasons why you would want to do it. These are some chevrons for a little necklace. And these holes are really, really small. <clears throat> I think they're, you know, 0 0.05 an inch. So, <clears throat> depending on what kind of vector bed you have, you would want to cut these holes out first. So you can tell the laser to cut them out first in case you cut the outside out first and then it moves a little bit, you know, falls down to your vector bed just a hair at an angle, they wouldn't be precisely cut. So what you can do is just lasso all the holes and to know you've got them, well, normally you would have six, it says six objects, but two of these are grouped together. But you can have your nudge factor set pretty high. And as long as you don't compass everything of the other parts, you're gonna get them and then you can move them out of the way and you know you've got them. Then just go up to print and right here, selection. You can't really see that on the screen, but I've just got the dot selected. Then you go to preferences and do vector and cut those out. Then you can, you can do two things. You could select the chevrons or you could delete all the circles or all the holes and then just group these. And normally you just have these on the screen. I've got another example. But then you would just print and vector these out. That way your holes would be in the right spot. The other reason for the video, and I do a lot of work for this young lady, and these are shapes and they're double-sided, but sometimes she has hairlines in her drawing. So if I don't catch that, if I don't really watch that, when I vector this out, after it engraves it, it's going to cut it out. Let's just see what the, you know, what the feel looks like. So there's all the cut lines. It will just literally destroy that piece. So to play it safe would be, and let's take these chevrons out of the way. We don't need them anymore. Well, let's say you're going to engrave this and cut it out. What I would do is to engrave this without using combination job just use raster go ahead and engrave it and then take just this piece your outside hairline you can always delete it and make sure you've got it all but take just that piece when you go to print go to select and now it's only it's only going to cut out your red hairline that you've designated you've told it that's all you want it to do then you go to preferences and hit vector and cut it out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.